Welcome back, viewers of Planet Poké, to some more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is Silversleep. In the previous episode, I reintroduced the series after a long, long hiatus of almost three months. We entered the Burn Tower. We freed the three legendary beasts, Raiko, Entei, and Suicune. And in the end of the episode, I was surprised as Dixie is now a fierce for alligator. In this episode, we're in the gym. And we're going to get to Morty, and we fall in the hole because I want to pay attention. I guess this one is a circle. All right, I'm gonna super speed through the regular battles because yeah, they probably all have either hunters or ghastly, so just be careful. And since I got the ability, I can just outspeed whatever I need, but it will cost me a turn. And I'm not even gonna resist that. I just gotta watch out for Morty's team. I mean, his strategy can be really nasty. I'm not paying attention. Like, ah! I walk too fast. That's the downside of super speeding! Are you kidding me? Alright, let me go back to. Okay, let me do this the normal way. There. All the way around. There we go. And. Okay. That's a nice walk there. I didn't expect that one. <laughs> uh, another Haunter. How many punches do I have? Oh, I should be fine. Yeah, this is the downside they have Sucker Punch. And Sucker Punch can be a really nasty move. This one was actually pretty weak. But don't underestimate it. Uh, no, no, no! How can this be so annoying? Perhaps my gamepad isn't cooperating at all. Or I can just walk straight ahead. Hmm, what's this? Wait a minute, am I standing on air or what? Hope not. No walk around that way. This is a really difficult gym. I'm surprised. I'm amused at the same time. This, this is really good. And this is at full health and level 31. That's going well. I'm pretty sure Crunch is physical right now, and since Radicator has a good physical moveset, it should be fine. And the last one is Gasly. Eh, don't really care. Bye bye. Uh, Minion Martha is beaten. Okay. Now I gotta be really careful. I'll just. One. Two, up. Up. Left. 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 All the way up. Yes, I made it. Alright. I'm standing in front of Morty. All I want to do is safe state. I would like to check really quick if I have any PP hilly items. That sounds really wrong, but trust me, it's not. Left of berries, please. Then I'm gonna make a guess here and see whether I'm right or not. It's good of you to have come. Here in Ekatri, Pokemon have long been referred. It's said that a rainbow yield Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that battle. Versus Morty, the fourth out of the gym leaders in the Johto region. He is the ghost type expert, and he's not gonna make your challenge easy. He is a real force to be reckoned with. At least, if you're unprepared. I would like to start off with one agility to make sure I outspeed anything he's gonna send in, even though I'm afraid that he's still gonna be fast at some parts. I mean, yeah, go ahead, do a spy, I don't really care. I uh, wasn't planning to use it again anyways. Would have been more painful if it wasn't Crunch, to be quite honest. Like, Crunch is gonna take quick work of his whole team. That's for sure. Gasly's down, 427 experience, and he's already gonna send in his Prime, his most annoying Pokemon, his most difficult one, is his fully evolved 25 Gengar, and I'm outspeeding and I'm really happy I do. Because this thing can do serious damage to your team if you're not like if you're not prepared. But luckily enough, Dixie's overleveled and overpowered as it is, and I'm really gonna be happy as soon as I get the experience share. Because I'm gonna need it. That's all I know. Now all he has is two Haunters, and considering I took down the Gengar already, two Haunters, lower levels, shouldn't really be a big problem at all, should they? And there we go. And Dixie now level 32. That's incredible. Dixie is going awesome in this episode. He already went from level 30 to level 32, in like no time. Last one. No, it's not over yet. Not yet. I still believe we can do it. I have doubts with your belief, Morty. Because this will be the end of your last Pokemon, and that will be the game. Fourth badge achieved. How is this possible? Well, 
Knife Relegator kicked your team's ass. I don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it, this badge is yours. And we just received a Fog Badge from Morty. Awesome, by having a Fog Badge Pokemon up to level 50, including the trading Pokemon who will obey you. Pokemon will also be able to use Surf. I want you to have this too. TM30, which is Shadow Ball. Really good move, and consider taking it along with you. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. And... Ole! Just kind of fall, get back to the entrance, and I'm out of here. Great! Now that we got four badges, Mommy decides to call for no apparent reason. Probably to tell us that she got another useful item for the storage or whatever. There we go. Okay. Now you can uh, actually go and backtrack a lot and pick up some items. I'll probably make an episode as soon as I got to fly. Because you might want to wait until you beat the fifth gym so you just fly. That makes your traveling a lot faster. Instead, I think I am just gonna go to the west to our next destination. Which is going to Olivine City and Seanwood City. Or Seanwood City or whatever you want to call it. Might as well start with that one. We're now on Route 38, which leads is actually in the north of that place. I'm um, <laughs> southern all over the place. And well, of course we're gonna get more trainers, because why not? There's a sailor, this Harry is a whooper. Harry has a whooper. Uh, and uh, your skill is worth a lot. Worth there. Jesus, what the hell's wrong with me? But I actually. I could avoid the whole grass patch, that's nice. Are you good at Pokemon? I want to teach you I want you to teach me some things. Last day now is Fluffy. Or Flaffy, or whatever you want to call it. And she has a Psyduck. All no problem to me. You're really good with Pokemon. Boys give me items after battles, but sometimes they give it too much. I can share them with you if you want. Let me get your phone number. Oh. So, next time boys give me something else to battle share with you, does it make me sound like a great one? No, it makes you sound like a biatch, to be quite honest. Actually, hmm, there's more in this place. Let's see what wall Pokemon I can find in here. I don't need, hmm, Magma. It's interesting, considering the steel. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, this is gonna kill these guys, yeah. That was bad. Have There we go. And there's a trainer here. Aren't you cute key trainer? May I see your Pokemon? No. How about me? That's a hop it. Mm, I like jump bluffs, but hop it's meh. Wait, did I just miss an ice fight? Yeah, that blows. And there we go. And a skip bluff. Still no jump bluff. Skip bluff is fine too, but still no jump bluff. And Dixie's level 33. I'm really over leveled. Oh. oh well, I'm gonna need it as soon as I get to face my final battle. But that aside. Uh, what am I gonna do now? This is a long destination. I guess I can now pick up this item here, which is a max potion. Always nice to have max potions along the road. I also found that you can actually walk this way and battle this trainer here. Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. You'll have a problem against my ice fang, buddy. That's a Dodo down. That's another Dodo. Quick attack, really? You're dead. Jesus. And the last one is <laughs> another dodo. Bye. Have a nice day. Whatever you're gonna do. And there goes Toby. To brush, Chris. And in the meantime, I pick up this apricorn. It's a white apricorn. Another one for the collection. You never know when you actually need those things. For now, I have absolutely no idea, and I cannot go here. I guess I have to actually go to the grass. Uh... That's eradicate. Uh, I say. Nah, didn't live. This is just too strong right now. Way too strong. I mean, I don't really care, but is this another trainer? Let me try something I learned today. How about no? Please don't. He has a missing mine, that's cool. Oh wow, it lived with like no HP. I should have just I should have just used crunch, I mean, yeah. Is that thing a Pokédex that I have to dream? Yeah, have your phone number, reach your chat about the professor. Oh, that will be loads of fun. <clears throat> right, you must listen to his Pokémon talk, right? No, I don't. I don't even care. And um, right now we're on Route 39, and I'm going to leave Route 39 for the next episode to see if I actually missed some important things in Route 38. So if I did, you may leave a comment. I'll make sure to edit it in. But 
I'll probably have it recorded by the time Mommy stop calling me. It's time to go. See you guys next time for more hard gold. Stop calling! <laughs>